Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer from the Prayer Chapel here at Holy Cross. Our worship service begins on page 131 of our green book with the traditional words of Psalm 91. <clears throat> oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship him. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm this day is part of Psalm 105. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him, and speak of all his marvelous works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Search for the Lord and his strength. Continually seek his face. Remember the marvels he has done, his wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O offspring of Abraham, his servant, O children of Jacob, his chosen, he is the Lord our God. His judgments prevail in all the world. He has always been mindful of his covenant, the promise he made for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath that he swore to Isaac, which he established as a statute for Jacob, an everlasting covenant for Israel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our reading this day is from Gospel of Mark, the ninth chapter. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves, and he was transfigured before them, and his garments became glistening, intensely white, as no fuller on earth could bleach them. And there appeared to them Elijah and Moses, and they were talking to Jesus. And Peter said to Jesus, Master, it is well that we are here. Let us make three booths, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. For he did not know what to say, for they were exceedingly afraid, and a cloud overshadowed them. And a voice came out of the cloud, This is my beloved Son, listen to him. And suddenly, looking around, they no longer saw anyone with them but Jesus only. And as they were coming down the mountain, he charged them to tell no one what they had seen, until the Son of Man should have risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what the rising from the dead meant. And they asked him, 
Why do the scribes say that first Elijah must come? And he said to them, Elijah does come first to restore all things. And how is it written of the Son of Man that he should suffer many things and be treated with contempt? But I tell you that Elijah has come, and they did to him whatever they pleased, as it is written of him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised, O Lord, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our prayer this day is by Susanna Wesley, the mother of John and Charles Wesley. Let us pray. Morning and evening, I commit my soul to Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. Enable me, O God, to observe what he says to me, resolutely to obey his precepts and endeavor to follow his example in those things wherein he is expected, exhibited to us as a pattern for our imitation. Make plain to me that no circumstance nor time of life can occur, but I may find something, either spoken by our Lord himself or by his Spirit in the prophets or apostles, that will direct my conduct, if I am but faithful to you and my own soul. Amen. And gracious God, we give you thanks and praise for this day and ask that you would bless us in it. Lord, we thank you for those who labor during the current crisis, for those who bring the necessaries of life to us through their daily labor, for those who care for the sickness of others, for those who work in our police and firefighting forces to protect the safety of others, and for all first responders, for those who care for us in the military and those who must direct them through their counsel in our halls of government. Bless us, O Lord, that we may always be thankful to those who labor on our behalf, but thankful especially to you that you have gifted them for that service. Blessed be with those afflicted with illness or deprivation during this difficult time, and bless those who are sick with other diseases than COVID or other conditions such as depression or addiction. Strengthen us all, O Lord, that we may better embody your grace and be your witnesses in this world. 
Jesus, we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. And our Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, we ask that you remember us in your kingdom and teach us to truly pray for our hearts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reflection this day is from Gerhard Kerstegen, who lived from 1697 to 1769. This was a letter he wrote to a friend on being devoted to Jesus. Jesus Christ, the true book of life, wishes to imprint himself in the ground of our soul, so that through his spirit we might become the written living copy and letters of him which cannot be read by everyone. To this end, let us study eagerly in this book. There is no danger in reading much in this book. By doing so, one cannot damage the understanding. And where this happens, it is only seen so to happen in the eyes of the world, whose greatest wisdom is foolishness with God. I hope, then, and I wish from the ground of the soul that the Father of our Lord Jesus will daily more and more transfigure his voice in us and make us great so that everything might become small and nothing, and our heart might be able to say with truth, Jesus, Jesus, nothing but Jesus be my wish and my goal. Servants of God, your master proclaim and publish abroad this wonderful name, the name all victorious of Jesus extol. His kingdom is glorious and rules over all. Our God rules on high, low, mighty to save. And still he is nigh, his presence we have. The great congregation his triumph shall sing, ascribing salvation to Jesus our King. Salvation to God who sits on the throne. Let all cry aloud and honor the Son. The praises of Jesus the angels proclaim. Fall down on their faces and worship the Lamb. Then let us adore and give him his right. All glory and power and wisdom and might. All honor and blessing with angels above, and thanks never ceasing and infinite love. Let us pray. Lord God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us, 
and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now may the Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit bless and preserve you. Amen. This ends our time of worship and prayer here in the prayer chapel at Holy Cross. We are having services every Sunday now at 8 o'clock for our traditional organ-led service, for 9.30 at our blended service, and at 11.30 in our outdoor service where social distancing is no problem at all. Come and participate in the community and receive the gift of God's Word. We pray that you have a wonderful and blessed day.